Welcome back to Coffee with Cannell. I am Sean Cannell, and in this episode, we're actually going to be talking about how to go full time, make a full time living, and earn a full time wage from YouTube, even if you have a small audience. And we're going to be talking about the concept of 1,000 true fans. You got to just press record. So today's topic is 1,000 true fans, how to make a full-time living on YouTube with a small audience. And let me know if you're watching this, have you already started a YouTube channel and what is your YouTube channel about? Now, today's episode is brought to you by Talk With Think dot com link in the description below and we'll post a link in the comments as well um if you ever want to get in touch with us at think media because you've moved into a time in your life and your business and your brand where you're serious and you want to start accelerating and maybe learn more about some of our courses or our monthly coaching program or any of our events talk with think is the place to do it you can schedule a 15 minute call with somebody from the Think Media team, and we will figure out if um, and how we can help you reach your goals faster. So here's the question. How can I make a living on YouTube without a huge following? Like, how is it possible to make a living off of YouTube? And this could be true for anything. I mean, podcasting, social media, we are living in the new economy, the internet, right? Where the ability to have an online business to make money online. But the question is, oh man, is it only for those with a million subscribers? Is it only for those that have 100,000 subscribers? Is it possible to earn a full-time living if I don't have a huge audience? And the answer is yes. And if you haven't heard about the concept of a thousand true fans, this is a critical teaching to understand. Back in 2008, Kevin Kelly wrote an article and an essay about a thousand true fans. And this is what the premise is to be a successful creator. You don't need millions. You don't need millions of dollars. You don't need millions of customers. You don't need millions of clients. You don't need millions of fans. And that is the myth that influencer kind of marketing has told us. Ah, I got to be just super famous. So I need a million subscribers to hit a tipping point of making enough money with like YouTube ad sense and YouTube ads. And that actually is kind of true if that's how you're going to make money. But in this very video, we're going to pull back the curtain of how tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of micro influencers like you and me can actually go full time and make a living. The article says as a craftsperson, a photographer, a musician, a designer, an author, an animator, an app maker, an entrepreneur, or an inventor online, you just need 1000 true fans. You know, my friend and one of the speakers at our recent event growth video wrote a book called super fans. It sort of was inspired by this very essay from 2008, over 12 years ago. And it's still true today. Highly recommended book, by the way, Pat Flynn, super fans. And one thing people were doing, let me know in the comments, if you were a part of our virtual conference recently, Growth Video Live, he trained on that and um, be watching the recordings. And next week, we're going to be letting you know if you missed it, how you can get access. It was really more than just conference recording. It's really a workshop step-by-step of uh, how to build a real business with video. But Spock, talking about a thousand true fans, let's break down the math. One way to think about this is imagine you create something to sell, all right? Just think about it as anything right now. You create some merch, uh, you sell a sweatshirt, you create a digital product, um, you, you do uh, c- coaching online in some in some way. People pay you via PayPal. Um, you create a mug, you know, the Rise and Grind mug, for example. Uh, it could be anything. And so, follow me. This is you've got a a small audience. Now, you may have ten thousand YouTube subscribers. You may have three thousand YouTube subscribers. Using YouTube as an example, not all of them are going to be true fans. What's the definition of a true fan? Well, a true fan is someone who's so into what you're doing, passionate about your content, passionate about your brand, that if you release something, they're all in. And let me know if there's somebody like that for you in the comments. I know today, when it comes to music, a lot of us probably just stream music and maybe buy less or no music like we used to, but I grew up buying CDs, right? I grew up buying uh, tapes back in the day. In fact, the first concert I ever went to and the first band I was a true fan of was new kids on the block. I may be ashamed to admit. Come on, step by step, 
Ooh, baby, gonna get to you, girl. Okay, I shouldn't be singing. Does anybody remember New Kids on the Block? I had all five New Kids on the Block tapes. I think there was five main ones. I had the Barbies. That sounds like that sounds awesome. Like the dolls with like the stage. Like I was a fan of New Kids on the Block. You know, fast forward, and there's been many bands I'm a fan of. And so guess what? If they came to town, I would buy a ticket to the concert. If they released a sweatshirt or a hoodie or a shirt, I would buy the shirt. So let me know. And Nathaniel goes, what did I just walk into? And so some people are maybe a casual listener of a certain band, and they listen to that band online. Other people are true fans. If that person comes to their area, they might get on a, a on a, a plane. They might fly to go listen to an artist uh, or support them, whatever it takes. Right now, today, these days, I'm becoming a super fan of certain uh, running brands. I'm really into running, so I'm really getting into Asics, and like I'm obsessed with different types of Asics running shoes as I'm into um, Asics. And so I don't just necessarily buy one pair of shoes a year now. I'm like trying different ones. So Asics can count on me to pay them at least like a hundred dollars a year. Like I just got some Dynaflight threes. Those are a hundred. I just found the Nova blast shoes and I uh, actually bought them from a different website, but it's all going to track back to, to a six. So I'm spending at least a hundred, 200, $300 a year on a six with my running habit. And I'm this fan of a six shoes. What are you a super fan or a true fan of that? Whatever you're following, they release something new. They release something cool and you're all in with it. Tyler Woods, he's got 28 pairs of shoes. You know what I mean? BGS life's like, yeah, new kids on the block. I was all in with Joey. Come on. I remember Joey. And so, so think about, um, something you're a super, uh, a super fan of. Now let's say you got 5,000 YouTube subscribers, 10,000 YouTube subscribers. A portion of them are the people who really connect with you. Got it. So when you've got a thousand true fans, that means when you release something, you put something out into the world, they're like, man, I, I get her. I get him. I'm all in. So they're going to buy the thing that you sell. That's the point. So imagine you had a $37 product, for example. Over one year's time, you've got 12 months to do this, okay? You sell 83 units per month through YouTube, through going live, through Facebook Live, whatever you're doing, through podcasting. That's 2.7 per day. That would be a $37,000 a year income. Now, that is roughly a teacher's income here in the United States where I'm streaming from and recording this right now. So... For example, Flyride, who's one of our Video Ranking Academy and Inner Circle students, he actually has a hoodie on his Teespring. Now, I understand there's fees. I get it. There, I understand. Like, But just go with me for a second. It costs $38.99 to buy that hoodie. All right? Flyride automo Automotive Lighting. Now, let's say he is actually going to do a merch drop. What is that? When you release a limited line of merch until it sells out and then it's gone. Let's say you did that just four times a year. You did a summer, fall, winter, spring merch release. Now, this could be journals, right? This could be a lot of different things, all right? And hit like if you're getting value out of the uh, training so far. Let's even say you're going to make $25 profit from it. Because again, you you use like a Teespring or some kind of a, a t-shirt, print house, print on demand. And, and I, maybe it's not that just follow me. Okay. You with me? So you're going to do four 1000 unit merch drops a year, spring, summer, fall, winter. So that means you're a thousand true fans. You're a thousand super fans. They're going to buy that out and you're going to profit $25,000 in spring, $25,000 in summer, $25,000 in fall and $25,000 in winter. Do you see how powerful that is? That is a $100,000 a year income from um, putting a product, selling something as a creator to your super fans with your 3,000 subscribers, 7,000. You might be saying, Sean, I'm just starting. Well, this is something to build up to, but here's the good news. You don't have to get a million subscribers or 100,000 or even 50,000 for this to be super practical. And I'm gonna be sharing some examples. So buckle your seatbelt because we're, the rabbit hole goes deeper. And 
I just broke down a $100,000 a year income, which is pretty extraordinary, especially to have a life on your own terms, freedom. Imagine this is all you did in a year. Now in the year, you get to make videos, go live, DM people back, post on social media, biz dev with brands, email people, go to events, connect, collaborate. This is the way you're earning money. Like all you gotta do is sell, uh, you know, 2.7 units a day, as we described in, in the prior one to potentially make like 30 to 40 to 100K a year. Powerful, right? Now, it is my belief that while there are cool things to sell, like you could do merch, you could try and get people really pumped about your rise and grind coffee cups. It could be anything that there is something that I believe for YouTube creators and entrepreneurs at large that the best industry to get in and the best product to sell is digital products, specifically online courses. And here's why. Forbes did an article, this is kind of an older article now, that said e-learning, that means people that want to learn things online through online courses is climbing to a $325 billion a year industry by 2025. So if you wanna know what's the next thing, Sean, what's happening in the next five years, what's the next wave, it's this. Now this research, came out before the lockdown and the pandemic. So this number has only gone up. We're seeing e-learning, online learning, digital learning explode across the planet. And people are looking for, this does include universities, colleges that have online courses, but this also includes, even if you look at this article, they mentioned things like lynda.com, which is now LinkedIn Learning, Udemy, Skillshare, as well as the ability to maybe host your own online course with Teachable, Thinkific, Kajabi. I know I'm throwing a lot of things at you there, but this is the e-learning industry. And I believe that online education, that packaging, promoting, and profiting from your knowledge is the best thing you could do as a YouTube creator. But let me state a few other important beliefs. I believe that when you're positioning yourself on YouTube, there's really two big categories. There's entertainment, and there's education. Entertainment is someone, I wanna be a famous vlogger. I wanna be a comedian, amazing. But that doesn't lend itself as much to positioning yourself to create an online course. However, if you plant your flag in a niche of education, it could be helping people learn how to do woodworking. It could be people helping learn how to do quilts um, and quilting and sewing. It could be, uh, helping people create music. It could be helping people learn guitar or piano. It could be helping people learn social media or digital marketing. If you have a, an education-based YouTube channel, it actually leads perfectly into monetizing your knowledge and monetizing your content through an online course really well. In fact, talking to people from Thinkific, I was at a conference before the lockdown, March first, 2020, around that time, before things really started locking down. And I was talking to Thinkific and they said this, YouTube creators are their uh, most successful users because they have a platform that lets you host your online course. And we'll put a list of some of our top recommendations in the description of this Coffee with Cano episode on our Think Marketing YouTube channel. And but Thinkific is a good one. And they said that they're most successful. And it makes sense because if someone's discovering you, they're trying to learn an, a foreign language, they're trying to learn a particular skill, they're trying to learn skateboarding. People do this in how to increase your jump and learn basketball skills or learn soccer. Online learning, as people are locked down, is this massive industry. And it's the best way to make a full-time living with a small channel or a small audience. All you need is 1,000 true fans. And... Let's go a little bit deeper and look at a couple of examples. So this is one of our students, McCain Dogs. They have actually a brick and mortar, 70 employee dog training business in Canada, right? Where you can bring them their dogs, your dogs to them. They've also got a very successful YouTube channel. mid size though, when I say very successful, it's not a million subscribers, it's not half a million. And they've packaged their knowledge though, just as one stream of income into their business, in a course called My Dog Can 
online dog training and you're able to get a step-by-step instruction from a professional dog trainer in an online course. Now, again, if that course is, let's say a hundred dollars, then, and they have a thousand true fans from their 30,000 subscriber YouTube channel that can't be there locally with their business. They could earn an extra $100,000 a year from selling that online course in a 12 month period of time. Isn't that crazy? And that's just using this rounded number of $100,000 per year. Here's another example. You remember Flyright? He's got the hoodie. Well, this is a much, we talked about it earlier, is merch. So he's a part of our Inner Circle monthly coaching program. And his channel is about learn the what, how, and why of auto lighting, like creating custom um, headlights for your import cars and whatnot. And he's actually packaged, created an online course, lightingcourse.com five months to five figures of how to build lights as a side hustle. So what he's actually training people to do is learn how to uh, purchase the raw materials or to purchase lights and flip them online. And I've got another friend locally here in Vegas that is, is doing the same kind of, he's got like a little warehouse, he started in his garage and he started like flipping auto parts and whatnot. So a lot of times the way people are doing this, and this is how you can rise above recession and really recession proof your business. You could take what you do in your business, if you're a business owner, and also package like how you do it in an online course to create an extra stream of income. And YouTube is the best place to position your business and your brand to do so. So this began, Chris has got things like YouTube ads, affiliate marketing, the ability to actually create these custom lights and build the lights and flip lights and actually earn money from it. But he also is creating a course on how he does it or how you can do it too and earn money from it and creating an extra stream of income around it. See how powerful this is? Let me know what your aha moment so far from this training and how this could apply to your channel and your brand in the comments below. Here is a place called Udemy. Not necessarily a place where I recommend you host your course, but it is a public online course marketplace. And you can see people doing things like complete guitar system, uh, how, you know, how to play guitar. And these are online courses that cost like $12 um, or two, $200 for different lectures and training so you can learn how to play guitar online. So what's a skill or a passion that you could teach? And let's actually look for a second. What are people making online courses about. If we actually go to Udemy, let's check out something like, like, uh, using lighting design to transform your home. And I didn't whip that end of nowhere. I just, I looked this up earlier. So here's an online course for how to use lighting design to transform your home. So you're going to learn three layers of light to create a cohesive, dramatic lighting screen scheme in any room. It's two hours of video. It's eight articles. There's some downloadable resources. So this is going to teach people in t- to how to use lighting to do interior design like a pro. This course is $94.99. And Udemy actually tells us how many students this course has. So there's actually 6,170 students in this online course. So if we look at $94.99 in the lifetime of this course being out, and it was updated recently, so I'm not sure when it was first created. Let's just multiply that by how many students are inside of the course. We can see that this course has earned $586,088. Let me let me say that again. That's over half a million dollars from selling an online course that Erica here created. Do you see how powerful that is? And here's what I want to encourage you with. I know that might get you pumped. You're like, half a million? What are we talking about? Like, There is such a powerful long tail to this to where people are earning, and what I mean by long tail is some people are earning multiple millions a year, a million a year, multiple six figures a year, but some people are earning an extra $30,000 a year, $5,000 a year, an extra two grand a year, in addition to multiple streams of income, monetizing their influence, their YouTube channel, and their knowledge. This is the best way to go full-time with a small audience. There's critical elements to succeeding at this and to really breaking through the noise. But what I want you to see is literally how powerful 
this can be. Let's look at just another quick example here. If we talk about drawing, let's talk about drawing, a skill of drawing. And you think about maybe all these different parents, all these people that are at home that maybe want uh, to help their kids learn how to draw. And let's just kind of dig even deeper. Let's go not at the top result. Let's, let's look at something um, a little bit deeper down here, how to draw cute cartoon characters, okay? Great. So we look at this and it's a $54.99 online course. Now picture, you have a YouTube channel, you're creating uh, free content on there, you're learning how to grow your YouTube channel and you're, you're building up fans in general and some of those people become true fans. They're like, hey y'all, I got a course out. If you wanna go check it out, here's the link or links in the description below. And there's lots of different key skills to learn in order to market, promote, and sell your online course. But that conversation is for another day. So this course costs $54.99. And there's 15,210 students in this particular course. That's $836,000 that this course has earned. I don't know about you, but that is kind of a jaw drop moment. Like, wow, this is nuts. I could package, promote, and profit from what I know. This is how I can turn my passion into profit and pairing YouTube with an education-based YouTube channel and packaging your knowledge in an online course is critical. Now, I understand there is a lot of different questions and there's plenty of pitfalls that people fall into that get them stuck when it comes to this. And that's a lot about what our channel Think Marketing and our Think Marketing podcast is about. So make sure you're subscribed to the Think Marketing YouTube channel, the Think Marketing podcast. And remember that we're also, we do have some accelerators like our monthly coaching program that does help you with this. But let's look at um, a couple quick examples. Just to make this simple, you've got an online course that's $97, okay? I know it could be cheaper, it could be more expensive. There's a large range. And so if you wanted to earn $97,000 a year, you would only need to sell 1,000 of these a year. And let me say it again. This is assuming now, this is not you probably at this point side hustling anymore. This isn't like, man, I got to go to work and then build my YouTube. This is like all year long. I get it. You got to do the kids and you got the other things you know, happening in your life's responsibilities. But could you live off $97,000 a year? Let me know in the comments. Like, could you live off that? Could that be a good starting point for you? Or maybe maybe you've got 22 kids and you live in the center of Manhattan and you couldn't because you're like, I mean, that's 97. It's not going to cut it where my cost of living. But for probably a lot of us, depending on where we are uh, in the world, $97,000 a year might be a great income or a good baseline. So let me know. So Imagine being able to devote your full focus to serving people, creating content, building your marketing, your messaging, and all those types of things, right? You could do this, right? $97 course, a thousand a year. But let's be super practical, like even really practical and say, you know, in year one, at the end of the year, you could only sell 250. And all your hustle, you're still learning, you're still studying, you're leveling up, dialing in your message, even dialing in your course, whatever it is. If in year one, you only sold 250, that would be $24,250. And maybe that's a side hustle year. Man, I got stuff to do. I got my main job. I'm doing this on the weekends. I'm working on some other stuff. I'm building this stuff out. Can you see how practical that could be? And then of course, you get better at the skill set of packaging, promoting, and profiting from your knowledge online. So in year two, man, you sell 500. So now you had a $50,000 a year. Now keep in mind that when you're doing this in particular on YouTube, you might also have some affiliate links in the description to some videos. You're also making YouTube ads uh, off the viewership of your videos. You might even have a brand that wants to work with you and they wanna pay you to make a video because there's a lot of different ways you can create income streams. So this is just the income from your course. So you might make 50K in that year, that second year on your online course, but then you might make another 5K in YouTube ads or 15K in affiliate marketing. And it really can snowball with all the multiplicity of ways there is to earn money in the new economy. And then number three, like year three, you've got this thing dialed in. Like give yourself three years to get better, learn the skills, level up. Do you see how powerful that would be? And even if, 
you're going what you would perceive as slower than somebody else. Like I think about how much time I to, that it took me to learn this. I mean, by now we've actually earned multiple seven figures in online courses uh, through Think Media. But there was years where I was just investing in courses and going to events and watching trainings like this one and still trying to figure it out, being like, dude, I got a million questions and it takes time. Like it definitely is what, what I hear about in this industry is the easy myth. Like I'm not trying to make this look overly easy. I'm not trying to say it's easy. I'm just trying to show you it's worth it and it's practical. So once you actually see a clear vision of, wow, okay, what's my niche going to be? What am I going to package? What's my online course going to be? What's what's my positioning? What's what's my difference? And then what are the skills that I need to learn to do this? This could build up year after year after year and really eventually give you a freedom-based business where you have the autonomy to, again, you can do this kind of thing working from wherever you want. This is the kind of business that you can do with a laptop and a USB mic and a webcam. Like there's it's an incredibly powerful business. And it makes me think of like Matthew. So Matthew, um, is, uh, he's got 34,000 subscribers, weekly videos to help you create music. So it's an education channel, right? And Matthew is building an email list. And we talk about that in other episodes of the think marketing podcast. And so he's got like free drum sounds for the MPC. So you actually give him, um, you sign up to get these free sounds because he helps you with the MPC a music creation tool. And then he lets people know like, hey, if you want my seven hours where I go through all the functions of the MPC, learn what the buttons do, learn how to program them. And he has a $37 course. And Matthew's a nurse is his main main hustle, his main job, and super grateful for him for especially this year and serving in the midst of the pandemic. But he's out there serving people and helping people. And he basically recently told us, he's a part of our inner circle community, He's said that he basically has matched his monthly income of his day job with his online income. What he's been doing is taking most of that money to reinvest in himself and his learning and scale and gear and equipment because he's got a vision for what he wants to do. So he's basically do a part uh, a place right now where he can go part time or even really full time if he stretched it. But he's compounding both things. And it's not just his YouTube channel and AdSense and affiliate marketing of the tech and other things. But he has packaged, learned how to promote, and is profiting from his knowledge online. This is Manny, who is a speaker, really preacher, itinerant minister. And he actually got crushed at the beginning of 2020 because all of his speaking gigs got canceled. The way he made his living and paid his mortgage for him and his wife, Tia, was he had 24 speaking gigs coming up this year. They all got canceled. So he actually went all in and packaged his knowledge in an online course called Speakeasy to start help other to help other people learn how to particularly teach the Bible, preach more powerfully. Again, a skill he'd built up, something he'd been investing had been investing in for years. My question is, what's a skill? What's something you know? And what can happen is you sometimes undervalue what you know and what's already inside of you. Things you've just learned in life, like gardening just comes easy for you. And you're like, you're awesome at gardening. You keep the aphids away. Your neighbor's garden, all their plants are dying. All of yours are flourishing. Like whatever, like there's different skills that can be very practical that you could package, promote and profit from. And he completely replaced his income by moving online and again, rose above recession specifically in this year. And so um, we have an episode on the Think Marketing Podcast with Manny where you can learn some powerful tips from him. And again, these are all just uh, other people that are part of our Inner Circle program. And so his Speakeasy course, $59, 10-part e-course, and it helps you become a better speaker, particularly for like youth speakers, pastors, conference speakers, and people that want to learn kind of how to teach the Bible, things like that. This is Nicole from Kids OT Help. She's a kids occupational therapist. And same example, she's got a new mama bundle offer where a lot of things that new mamas need to learn. It's $333. She's actually created a couple different online courses, but um, that one is a bundle of her trainings. So 
what is the skill? Tell me in the comments. What is the skill you have? Maybe maybe you already have an education based YouTube channel, or what is just a skill you you have that possibly could be packaged into an online course? Let me know below. And listen, over the next five years, this industry is growing to, as Forbes told us, to a three hundred and twenty five billion dollar a year industry. That's how much money is going to be going into e-learning and people wanting to learn remote, learn on their own terms, learn from home. And as those numbers grow, especially with the lockdown, basically here's what we're talking about. That means by 2025, this is going to be a billion dollar a day industry. Let me say that again. That's that's billion with a B per day in 2025. I hope you're glad you're watching this Coffee with Cannell right now. Because what we're revealing here is that this is the beginning of a major wave. Like this, is, it's just kind of like looking back and being like, shoot, I should have invested in Amazon stock. You know what I mean? Like if you would have invested like 10 grand in Amazon stock back in like 1998, you'd literally, I don't know, you know, be like ridiculous today. Or like you look back, you're like, man, I should have, should have saw that Tesla thing coming. Come on, Elon Musk. I just want you to see that this is coming. And so if there's skills to learn, which there are, if there's even positioning for you, what's my position? What's my channel about, man? How do I build this whole like potentially knowledge business empire? Well, you got time, but it's time to go all in because you want to position yourself now to, again, ride the wave. Like when the surf is good, one of my friends, Jeff Morris, who lives in Southern California, when the surf is good, he goes out and he rides. He wants to see that opportunity and go ride the wave when it's good. When there's nothing there, he chills at home and sips coffee and hangs out with his family. So when you see a wave coming, that's the time to position yourself. That's the time to level up. That's the time to lean in. Are you curious about the programs and services here at Think? Want to chat with a real person to help you on your next steps? Well, we've got you covered. Jump on the phone for a quick 15 minute discovery call with a Think Media certified coach to help you with your next steps. Just go to talkwiththink.com to schedule your free call. Yeah.